you know, as the weather's warming up here at K-State, basketball season is actually wrapping up and baseball season is off to a hot start. Thanks for joining us here on Channel 8 News. I'm Katie Johnston. Fake Patty's Day is just one of those events that brings in lots of money for local businesses and gives college students some really sweet shirts. Many of those unique green shirts are created at Threads. Since 1976, when Veterans Memorial Park was built, there's been 13 total flags flying. Until today when the city decided to take down one controversial flag. Studies have shown that in the state of Kansas, skin cancer is on the rise. In this opening week, fans came from all across the nation to support one very special team in Kansas. Yeah. Was later deleted from his timeline, and Clays has declined an interview with Channel 8 News. Hundreds of K-State and UCLA fans are preparing for the 2015 Alamo Bowl here in San Antonio, Texas. Governor Brownback recently announced that secondary and higher education budgets will be taking cuts during this fiscal year. K-State's Union Program Council makes it their goal to host new and entertaining events each year. The Aggieville made it a little bit easier by hosting their very first ever blood donation here in the Cat House Lounge. The blood drive at Cat House Lounge eventually surpassed the goal of 45 pints of blood by harvesting 53 pints. Speaking of learning, as spring season approaches, people are starting to look for educational things to do outside in the fresh air. Katie Johnston, Eyewitness News.